I'm Lucy Biedno with the ARC of Northern Virginia. This three minute webinar is going to look in plain simple terms at what supportive decision making is, how it can work for you, and how you can get started. There are lots of ways to make decisions. Everyone in the world gets help making decisions sometimes. Sometimes maybe you make decisions with just one person you trust, like your friend or your parent or your partner. Sometimes you make decisions by asking a lot of people you trust what they think and how to help you understand your choices. By doing things like this, people with developmental disabilities can keep their decision-making right instead of having them taken away. Because if you know when you need help and who to ask, and you've got a good team around you who can help you understand and make your choices, you really have a lot of capacity to be independent. To get started with an idea like this, it's a good idea to sit down and think about when do you want help making decisions? It's it, when you go to the doctor or when you're making decisions about money, health care, planning for your life or where to live. Think about all those times and think about who you want to help you. Maybe it's one or two people like parents or friends or partners who help you a lot. Or maybe you can think of a lot of people who you trust to help you. People you see all the time or could see over the phone or computer or talk with when you wanted help. And think about how you want them to help you. Do you want them to go places with you or to sit down with you afterwards and help you walk through the choices? Once you start to write things down, you're really most of the way there toward making a supported decision-making plan. Then start asking the people whose name you wrote down, do you wanna help me? And this is what I need and when I need your help. People are usually really honored to be asked. Then once you have your plan, you can adjust it as time goes on. Maybe you find someone new in your life who you wanna to add to the plan and that's great. Or maybe you find someone isn't available very much and it's okay to take them off and put someone else there in the place. Remember that supportive decision making is for everybody. Everyone in the whole world gets help making their decisions. So if you don't have any disability, you have significant disabilities, you have a guardian, no matter who you are, you can ask for help understanding and making your choices. It's a great way to feel empowered and to build your skills. We invite you to talk to us more anytime at thearcofnova.org and you can watch more videos and learn more about supported decision making at thearcofnova.org slash sdm.